Hello, hello! This is a tutorial video on how to upload a thumbnail for your avatar in VRChat without it getting cut off when you go into your social menu. So first things first, I'm going to pop into the avatar that I want to change the thumbnail for. So I'm just going to go to avatar, over to Dozy here. So I can see here that uh, in this case her eyebrow is really co close to the top of the border here. Um, if I select her and I change into avatar, and I go to the social menu and I click on myself, the eyebrow is now almost cut off. Like there's no more gap in between the eyebrow and the edge of the border. So clearly this thumbnail zooms in a bit um, when you click in the social tab. So I wanna make sure when I upload my actual picture that I wanna use that it doesn't get cut off like this. So first things first, I'm just gonna to go to my Unity project and I'm gonna add in a plane. So game object, 3D object, and then plane. And now I'm just going to change the rotation and scale, so the rotation to 90 on X, and the scale on X is going to be 0.1039997, and the Z scale is going to be 0.0576984. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this around so it's out of the way, and zoom in a bit. So this is my plane. So now I want to add in the pictures that I'm going to use. So I have my picture here that I already took in VRChat. I'm just going to move it into my project as well as this black border here as well. I'm going to move that image into my project as well. So I'm just going to drag the picture onto my plane. So it doesn't show up. We just need to change the shader. If you go over onto the inspector tab when you're selecting the plane, select the shader. I use VRChat, mobile, and then tune lit. So now that we've created that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this plane. And what am I going to do is I'm going to click the scale tool and I'm just going to make it really big. Basically, so I'm making a border around my actual image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that black image onto that duplicated plane. And I'm going to move the plane back so it is not covering my image. So now we should have a nice picture here with kind of like a black border around it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload this avatar again. So show control panel, sign into your VR chat account, and our builder, go to build and publish for Windows. And we'll just have to wait for the project to upload. almost done here. Okay, so now that that's done, or almost done rather, okay, now it should be done. Okay, so now we're just going to close out of the SDK here and we're going to pop on over to scene and we're just going to move our VRC camera around. So just select your VRC cam from the scene here and make sure you're on the move tool and find the camera. Just move it over and move it closer to your image. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of center this. And what we're doing is we're just going to move the camera in so we can no longer see the black borders on the left and right side of the image. So I'm just going to keep going forward, get over a bit. So right when you get to the edge of the photo, you want to stop zooming in. And then you want to angle the border on the top and the bottom to be relatively the same. So that looks pretty centered. By going over to game, and I just select upload image. 
you can see there's no border on the side but there is a black border on the top and bottom which is fine you just want to make sure it is pretty centered and then we're just going to upload It's almost done. Okay, so update complete. So we already have VR chat running, so I'm just gonna pop back over. And now if I go to avatar, I can now see in the thumbnail here that it is no longer cut off. I can see that there is a little black border on the top and the bottom, um, but there's no black borders on the side or anything, and it's relatively small. So I'm just going to go back into my social menu and head on over. Okay, so it hasn't updated yet. I'm just going to swap avatars to something else and swap back to my avatar. I go into the social menu now and I click on it. You can see here that there is no black borders on the top and bottom anymore. The sides aren't cut off. Uh, it's not cut off there, but it's perfectly centered. And it looks great. Uh, this especially helps out, in my opinion, for if you have avatars that have creator names on it. For example, this one I have here. If I go to social and I have avatar by this person here, um, it just makes it so it doesn't get cut off at the bottom and you can see everything. But yeah, that is it tutorial. Thanks.